Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable the new settings app homepage in Windows 11 23493, the latest build from the dev channel. As always in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable this new settings homepage with Vive tool. And we're also going to check out how the new settings homepage looks, what it can do with it and what new features are added inside it. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the Video. First of all, as always, you're going to have to download Vive Tool. You're going to have the Vive Tool download link in the article below in the video description and make sure to download the latest version.zip. You can open it up using File Explorer, click on Extract All, click on Browse, and then just go into this PC, Local Disk C, Windows, and then scroll down to System32 because you're going to have to extract it into System32 so that you don't have to run any extra commands inside CMD. Select Folder, click on Extract. In my case, I'm going to have to replace the files in the destination, click on Continue, and this is how you set up Vive tool on your computer. Now you're going to have to open up the CMD, search inside the search box, CMD, click on run as administrator, and inside the user account control, you're going to have to copy and paste in this command, which is Vive tool slash enable slash ID 420583454205831. This command was provided by Seno Panther on Twitter, so a big shout out to him. You're going to have his Twitter link in the pinned comment below if you want to learn more about Windows and hidden features inside Windows 11. So after you copy and paste this command, press enter to run it and you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. After that, you can exit out from the CMD and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. After the restart, if you open up the settings app, I'm going to make it full screen. We have the new settings app homepage, which looks pretty nice, especially in the dark mode. So according to Microsoft, the new settings homepage provides an overview of your device, quick access to key settings and helps manage your Microsoft account. And they also created these interactive cards, which provide the most relevant information and controls from your Windows operating system. So the cards that you should notice inside the new settings homepage are recommended settings, cloud storage, account recovery, personalization, Microsoft 365, Xbox, and Bluetooth devices. Of course, if you have certain things that are not set up on your computer, you won't see these things inside the new settings homepage. So as you can see at the top, we have the recommended settings, recent and commonly used settings. We have display, power and battery, and search permissions. If we click on display, as easy as that, we are redirected to the display settings. We also have Bluetooth devices and we have certain devices that were added before we can manage add and remove devices or we can click on view all devices and we will be automatically redirected to the Bluetooth and devices and devices section. We also have account recovery settings never lose access to your account and we can add a recovery phone number to make sure you can always get into your account but of course you can also get other recommendations regarding the recovery of your account. We also have cloud storage with available storage you can back up files and or send and receive email on Outlook. This is basically the OneDrive storage. You can click on view details to see more details about how this storage is used and how much space you have left. We also have Microsoft 365. As you can see, we can uh, try it for free. If you were to have a Microsoft 365 subscription, you would get here more info about this. And of course, you're going to be able to manage your subscription. And lastly, on this computer, we have personalized your device. We can quickly change the color mode and browse more backgrounds, colors and themes and change themes with one click. If I were to change the color mode to light. Let's change it a bit so that you can see how the new settings home page looks in the light mode. It looks pretty nice, but of course I'm a big fan of the dark mode, so I would never switch from that. And I think Microsoft has done a great job by improving the new settings app in Windows 11 and adding this really nice home page to it. As I've said, if you're interested in enabling this on the latest build from the dev channel, that's the only build that this will work on. You can download Vive tool from the article below in the video description and use the command that was discovered by Panther on Twitter to enable the new settings homepage. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.